Hello everybody and welcome back to the Brigazoid's Den. So today is Saturday, which means Amphibia just came out. And this was the Christmas special, the what was, uh, Froggy Little Christmas. And it was good, it was really good. Um, I believe this is the last episode of Season 2A. And I don't think there's going to be any episodes in December. Um, but I don't know when it's coming back either, so I don't know. But um, Owl House has been on a long hiatus as well, so... Yeah, anyways. Um, yeah, this was a good episode, really good episode. There was a lot of... Um, well, not a lot of, but there were some, like, story aspects that were kind of revealed, which was good. But a lot of it was just kind of like a, its own story, which, which is fine, which is fine. But uh, especially the ending, I think, really uh, was very story-driven. And hopefully in Season 2B, we get to see these characters. I'll, when we get to it, I'll talk about it. But, like, when we get to the end, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it. But, um, yeah, it, it, it was good. It was good. It was definitely uh, not the, not a bad episode, so we'll get into the breakdown. All right, to start off, um, before we actually even get into the episode, the the uh, intro has changed, and there was like a little Christmas uh, light border around the intro. I think there was a few, um, like like I think Anne's hair was different when she went into like the calamity uh, powers, which was surprising. I thought she was actually going to use them in this episode, but she didn't. But um, I think they were like red and green, which was interesting. And I think that was the only noticeable changes. Maybe I'd have to go back through and rewatch it if I if I wanted to see any other changes. But either way, I just wanted to mention that the intro was different. <clears throat> so we start off with Anne's mom is setting up decorations. Clearly, she is very into Christmas, and um, the planters don't really know what Christmas is. Um, but before Anne can explain it to them, Anne, uh, Anne's mom gets a call and answers the phone. As the holiday parade is opened up a, uh, as an opening for the Boone Joys, and Anne's mom has to say no, even though it's been her dream for years, because it'll draw too much attention, so Anne's mom, uh, really sad about that, but she tries to hide it, uh, about not being able to make a float for the holiday parade. So Anne goes upstairs, and she decides to make, or make the call, and make a tie go, um, float for the parade, um, so she said yes to the, to the, uh, well, uh, I forget what, who called, it was like the, I guess just the holiday parade, or uh, people, she said yes to them that they would be taking the the spot. So then we go to King Andreas, who's in his flying castle. Uh, his guards are in Christmas outfits, which is pretty, which was uh, funny to see. And uh, they get King Andreas a gift. This gift is a new drone soldier, um, and it's like manually controlled. He has like a little controller and like a VR headset. And King Andreas is going to send this drone to Earth to destroy Anne. That's been his plan for a little while. Um, a street musician is playing a Christmas song, and I wanted to mention this because this song, I believe, is by Re Rebecca Sugar, who made Steven Universe and was also, she was put on this show as a special guest, um, and turns out she was making a song, of course. She's uh, very musically talented. So she made a Christmas song, which is played throughout the episode in uh, different like segments, different chunks. So that was, that was uh, very, very cool to see. Um, so Anne and the planters explore the city with all the Christmas decorations around the town and everything. And Anne has Polly call the IT gals, who are from episode 5, uh, the Fixing Frobo episode. So the IT gals explain Christmas to the planters, and they make Christmas sound, like, very, very stressful. Because um, obviously the planters have no idea, so whatever they've been told, they're immediately going to believe is like, oh man, they, they, they take it very seriously. So Anne and the Planters then visit the museum to meet with Dr. Jan, and uh, while Anne collects stuff for the parade float, the Planters continue to learn about the history of Christmas. Sprig becomes completely stressed out about getting Anne a present after the, um, uh, was it Dr. J? I think the IT gals told him that he should get a present uh, for someone who's very meaningful to them. Um, and then um, we kind of cut to King Andreas. Uh, his drone is flying into Earth. And his drone is bombarded by pigeons, so that goes down for a quick minute. And then Anne and the planters uh, start building the float, meanwhile. And Anne's dad is having trouble getting a good picture throughout the episode as well, which then, at the end, is, is resolved. So Sprig is having trouble finding a gift for Anne as well. And finally, um, after a little while, like a few cuts, the parade float has been finished. Uh, a lot of people help. The whole town helps, it seems, which was very cool to see. So Anne shows off the Tygo float to her parents, and they're very happy. 
and then the holiday parade begins. So King Andreas finds the boon choice with his drone and decides to use his drone to control a giant Santa statue who becomes like the villain of the episode. So King Andreas announces himself to the boon choice and then the giant Santa Claus statue chases the Tygo float. Um, everybody starts throwing stuff at the giant st Santa statue, but it doesn't really do much because this thing has weapons for some reason, but it was, it, it was from the drone. Anyways, um, the Tygo float is blocked up in a corner, so, you know, they, they can't really do anything. And Anne and the planters fire a Christmas tree that was on the float into the giant Santa statue, destroy, destroying it, which was good. And then we cut back to Amphibia really quick, and we see that the core, or Marcy, the core, whatever you want to call it, was actually watching King Andreas this whole time. But King Andreas then, at the end, reveals his army of uh, frog bots, which are going to go invade Earth. So, he has definitely stepped it up. Then the Boon Choys and the Planters go home, and the Boon Choys finally explain what Christmas is to the Planters, so that they get a better understanding. Anne's dad got the perfect photo after they destroyed the Santa uh, statue. The whole everybody was jumping like on the Santa statue, and Anne's dad was able to sneak a photo. And then Sprig's gift, because he was searching for a gift for so long, was like a small figure that he made of Anne. And then the episode ends with Anne writing letters to Sasha and Marcy's parents, which was kind of crazy. That that's a that's definitely gonna be a big story point, a uh, big story point. And I hope to see Sasha and Marcy's parents in some of the future episodes uh, of Amphibia Season 3. Maybe, I'm hoping, like, the, epi the first episode of Season 2B is, like, them going to visit um, Sasha and Marcy's parents. That would be pretty cool. But anyways. So I thought I would kind of get into some, like, um, like kind of ideas for Season 2B. I know I I'm doing this pretty quickly. I, I, I just finished recording um, one of the other segments of this video. And... So, I'm thinking for season 2B, it has to be Sasha and Marcy's parents, like 1,000%. Um, I hope we get to see them. I hope there's a whole episode dedicated to meeting with them. Um, because, you know, Marcy and Sasha have been gone for as long as Anna's been gone, plus a little bit more because Anna's home already. Um, on top of that, I would love to get more uh, amphibia-based episodes as well, just to kind of see King Andreas's army grow to see how Wartwood is going to prepare, um, and yeah, I guess that, I guess that's really about it that I want to see from Amphibia, and then, I don't know, what else could they do? Um, I would love to see, I thought Terry was going to be in this episode, this Christmas episode, but I didn't really, I, I didn't see her, she wasn't really in this episode much, so hopefully she'll probably come back, because she's going to be building a, um, uh, a portal, a portal, she's going to be building a portal to find Amphibia. And I'm trying to think what else is going on. Well, obviously, I think the ending, the big ending here, is going to be King Andreas invades Earth with his Frogbot army. Um, that's a definite, I think. I think that's where we're leading to, which would be really cool to see. I can't wait for that. Um, I wonder if they're going to do kind of like what they did with um, with Gravity Falls and how they with Gravity Falls they did the whole like separate series of uh, Weird Mageddon. And I wonder if they're going to do something similar uh, to that uh, for Amphibia. But anyways, that was just kind of like quick thoughts after the episode. That was pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to talk about Amphibia like we've been doing. But um, next Saturday is not going to be an Amphibia week, uh, or Saturday, I guess, because Amphibia is done, I think, for until, I don't know when. There hasn't been a, re uh, a release date for the next uh, episode or next part of the season. So I don't know how long um, those videos are going to be on hiatus for. But I will be finding other videos to replace them. I'll have to find some stuff. Anyways, if you enjoyed that video, do the comment YouTube stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys later.